joy, the one we're going to restore. In the body, and you're a part of that body. What can we do as individuals put a lid on? It's one of the things that we can do to combat the vision, first of all, is to recognize when it happens. Because how can we address something we're not aware of? Where it starts, a lot of times, you know, we can see things that's not right, but we say nothing about it. That's how the vision continues, because it's not addressed. So one of the things we can do to combat it is to recognize it and then bring awareness to it. And that's a good place to start. That's not the only answer, but that is a good place to start. Uh, there's so much that you can do to entitle yourself without being cheap. There's so many ministries that you can be a part of. Every preacher and every man that is a preacher is not a pastor. But that's the role that they take because that's the role that puts them in the headship. So many other ministries. You could be an evangelist. You could have a mission ministry. You could have a, a ministry to take care of the sick. And I think the reason why division becomes such a thing is because we get so close within ourselves. Um, but if we come to a place and realize that we're not serving for man, but we're serving for God, and we come with that unity, uh, that's when division is stop. It's when we stop. We, we think less of ourselves and more of Him. There's no, there's no room for division to creep in. It is something that we have to continue to work at, to mitigate. There is always going to be differences from a, a personality standpoint, from an individual standpoint. We're different. The only thing that makes us similar is the Spirit of God. If there's going to be the possibility of defeating division when we see it, it is only going to be because we allow ourselves to be spiritual. That if you see your brother overtaken in a fault, it doesn't even say sin, it says fault. That ye which are spiritual, restore such a one and do it in the spirit of meekness, considering yourself, because you can be tempted, but we have to have those kind of compassions and be spirit led. The Bolden was right to be able to identify it and then be able to say something. We are blessed when we stay in our own anointing. I don't get the power and the gifting from God when I try to do something that he's not given me to do. I think I like that when I try to do something that maybe what you're doing. Maybe I don't have the gifting for that. I'm not going to have the anointing that you have. I'm not going to have the effect that you have. That's why I tell us to abide in our home. You know, abide in that that God has given you. And like Pastor said, the fingers can't work without the arm. My rotator cuff can't move if I didn't have this arm on it. So all of us have our function and we have our place within the body. It's just getting in that place and accepting the place. You can be great as in whatever you're doing. That's right. You make it great. You know, you make it shine.